In this proof of concept video, two security issues concerning the password protection of the Eaton Easy E4 programmable logic controller and the corresponding software EasySoft are demonstrated. The first security vulnerability, SYS 2023-7, concerns implementation issues of the EasySoft password protection for project files, which allows an attacker to extract the plain text password. The second security vulnerability, SYS 2023-8, concerns implementation issues of the password-based protection of the Easy e 4 PLC for locking access to various features, for instance regarding the Ethernet interface of the device. These two security issues have been found by our IT security expert Manuel Stotz and have been reported, along with two other security vulnerabilities, to Eaton. The two demonstrated security vulnerabilities have been fixed in your soft and firmware releases. The developed software tool used in this video will be available on our SYS GitHub repository. In our demo setup, we are using an Eaton Easy E4 DC12 TC1 programmable logic controller for a new project in the corresponding programming software EasySoft. We set a project password and save the project. Next, we open the project file again and are now requested to enter the project password. If we enter an incorrect password, we are not able to open the project in EasySoft. Now, we exploit a security vulnerability concerning the password protection using the developed password recovery software tool in order to recover the correct project password. With the recovered Cleartext password, we can now open the password protected project file in EasySoft. In our demo regarding the second security vulnerability, we target a password protected EasyE4 program file stored on the PLC's micro SD card. Without entering the correct password, we cannot control the PLC for instance, stopping the program. Therefore, we remove the micro SD card and put it in our attacker laptop. Here, we again use our develop password recovery tool in order to retrieve possible password candidates based on information stored within the program file. With those password candidates, we are now able to unlock the PLC and, for example, stop the running program. The two demonstrated security vulnerabilities have been fixed in your soft and firmware releases. <laughs> 